Jayaha! It's early morning right now, and in the past you saw me activating in very dynamic ways, very often, right? I go into dynamic fire breath, calling Kali, and it can be pretty intense and pretty fiery. The activation I invite you into today is about you know, 5 to 10 minutes and it's something that you can do in the morning. You can simply build up energy, reverence, presence, love and connection with yourself. With these very simple breathing and movement techniques. It's very soft, it's very beautiful. I invite you to do this practice with me as you are watching this video. So take a pose where your back is straight. Imagine that you have a string pulling you from above. It's not over down, okay? It's not with the chin coming, but just a soft posture and your shoulders are relaxed. And then you start connecting with your breath. In very soft ways. It's beautiful. Just breathing, just being present. As you breathe in now, you raise your arms. And with that, coming in prayer pose. And again, breathe in through the nose. Breathe out. And again. on going in very soft ways. Today is Mahashiva Ratri. It's a very special day. Celebrating the power of our transforming energy, our fire. The power of Shiva, the power of Yoga, the power of Tantra. It's very soft. A soft way of approaching this this morning. And go into gentleness, kindness for yourself. This is a unification posture, something that brings back reverence and a connection with life. The moment you take a prayer pose like this one, the moment you are in prayer pose. It's a language, okay? It's a communication. It's like a word that you're sending out. It's an attitude. You're communicating with the forces of the invisible around you and inviting beauty, love, life force in your system. You connect with the universe and with life around you. 
So it's a very beautiful, a very special thing to do. Once you do that for a few rounds, the next prayer pose or the next prayer that you can engage into, just opening your arms, the same, you're breathing. When you are uh, breathing in there, the posture is with the, the legs slightly bent. It means that you're flexible on your knees. You're not too tense with that. Okay, you breathe in. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. also for about five minutes so this is like a ritual a movement of energy goes on. here is another way of moving your body with that it is the same idea as a movement of reverence and a prayer and beauty that you're invoking in the core of your being so you can do a really soft dance you close your eyes Moving from side to side, just reconnecting with life force. Imagine that your body, your life is a wave. On the surface of the ocean, And you are connected, of course, with the ocean. You are completely part of the ocean. But your life, your being, is just one visible peak, one visible aspect of a field of life force, of an ocean of life force that represents the totality of humankind and the totality of life. That is present on this planet. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy this practice. Having rituals like this once, when you wake up in the morning, just to bring in fresh, clear energy in your space, you know, this is one of hundreds of possible practices that you can engage into in the morning but it's going to bring you know a sense of focus a sense of reverence a sense of clarity in your mind as you dedicate your life to your highest potential to a sense of love a reverence and kindness to yourself so I encourage you to start designing your life in ways where you can include and integrate maybe just a 15 minute practice when you wake up in the morning. This is a soft version. There are much more dynamic versions of morning activations. But this is one, you know, that you can start engaging into. If you resonate with this one, just start practicing. Try maybe doing 5, 10, 15 minutes every morning for like a week. Then watch another video to get more ideas and then keep expanding if you have the time and the energy to keep expanding that practice in the morning. 
But basically, it is the, the idea is to train your energy muscle. You know, everything that I'm recording here is part of what I call tantrica training within the vital tantra system. So it's op an optimization or an actualization of an energy a system, a spiritual system, a system of life force, a system of energy that you can start integrating in your life. It can radically transform, change, enhance, upgrade, or optimize your being and the way you stand in life. Happy Mahashivaratri. I love you.